This what is the house your family, just to make this clear to people, this is the house your family live in. in yeah, in, in County what? Durham. So that is my mum and dad's house, like, exactly how it is. Replicated. It was, it was crazy because sometimes I would wake up on a morning and I would honestly Think forget I was in Namibia. And then I'd open the curtains and there'd just be like a herd of goats in the garden. And I was like, oh, yeah. So what did you think when you were asked to do this show? Because the whole concept, when you say it, we're going to literally yeah. recreate your house brick by brick It just sounded like such an amazing experience. Like, how many people get to experience something that's, like, a completely different world? And with my family, like, we haven't done anything all together, like, that since Gogglebox and... I just was really curious, as curious as all of our friends in the Himba village to find be, out about them. There could be people that say, well, you could have just gone and lived with the Himba people yeah. in their, their mud huts and the way yeah. they live. So what was the premise of taking the house or but, recreating Yeah, because then they wouldn't have got... Like, they wouldn't have seen how we live. Like, m my best friend out there, Candithico, um, like, she was like, oh, all of these rooms. She's like, why have you got so many things? Why have you got so much stuff? Mm. Like, where a panga kept saying, you and your family can stay, but this house has got to go. It's such an eyesore. And I think maybe because I'm a bit big-headed, assumed um, that they would just love yeah. the house. Yeah. Wash your um, machine. Yeah. So, you, so yeah. then would the Himba people come in and you would show them this is well, a Well, I did it because I didn't actually... I don't do any... <laughs> you don't have to work. You don't have to work the washing but machine. But my mum taught her best friend where a panga like about the washing machine, and everything. But where a panga was like, you're just lazy. You're just letting all the machines do all of the work for you. Which is true. <laughs> yeah, isn't and it? as well, like it's such a sense of community there. Like going to get wood and like cleaning. Everything's done as a family and as a whole. Whereas they found us very sort of isolated. And I know we would say, oh, we're very independent, but. Yeah, our friends. So they didn't get didn't... like you were sitting in another room watching TV or no. something. They don't get that. And like Candice, of course, said to me and my little sister, like, why do you let your nan sleep in a room by yourself? What happens if she needs blankets in the middle of the night or a glass of water? And I was like, oh, and it's really changed our outlook. I think we're like the County Durham Von Traps anyway. I thought we spent loads of time together, yes. but being there, it's made me realise. Actually, we don't, and we could spend a lot more time together. Um, you're interfering with these people's lives and whatever, but it sounds to me as if you learnt as much about them and questioning your life as they did about you, and that will happen for the viewer yeah, as well. Yeah, obviously. I can't wait for people to watch it, because I feel like when people watch it, they'll just see what sort of tone the, like, the show is. And, and, like, all of our friends there, if anything, it confirmed to them how much they love their sense of community and just how they love living their life as they do. So they live, live a very simple life. They don't have things. What did they make of all your things? And did, you know, when you were just leaving... Cos you were there for over a month, yeah. weren't you? Did they want you to leave anything behind for them? No. Nothing, really? <laughs> That's honestly... Like, they just really... Like... Yeah, just nothing. And, like, even, like, my friends are like, when are you going to take those ugly clothes off and wear our traditional clothes? And did you? I mean, you'll have to find <laughs> out. <laughs> but I did notice in one of the clips I've seen of you, or the trailer, is that you had no makeup on, you've looked very natural. Yeah. Was it, that just happen slowly? But, yeah, they just... I, I never have felt so sort of not judged and happy to be but in they don't have skin. mirrors, do they? No, and that, honestly... Might be a good thing. Yeah, yeah, because I just feel like a lot of my day is consumed with how I look and mm. you see your reflection and you look in it and, yeah, it's just not, yes. a, not a thing there. So did uh, you show them a mirror? Did any of them have yeah, that experience Yeah, and the, with the you? most amazing thing is that they all said they looked beautiful. Yeah. And that was that so lovely? touching. I mean, the chief did say, who's that old man? And we had to explain that was him. <laughs> 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 Which brings me to the question, what did you do with the house, you know, after the show yeah. is, is over? Erased. Yeah, the, and, the, and our friends there wanted it to be like that. It got took down and then reused where it got built in South Africa again. But you did leave them, I think, a... A, a borehole, yeah. A so borehole, yeah. Them, they drilled into the earth so that it was easier to get water, mm -hmm. yeah. So, Sh Scarlett, if you were reviewing this for Gogglebox <laughs> now, if you were looking at this, yeah. would you seriously say this is an amazing... Uh, anthropological experiment, or would you say, look at those Egypts coming up, <laughs> building their house there, whatever, what are they doing? How do you think you'd review it? I feel it? like if I was reviewing it, I, there would be bits that were really heartwarming, 
bits that are hilarious, especially with my dad, and then bits that make you cry as well. Yeah. Even I was shocked when I watched the first episode yeah. of... Yeah, it's Has it just, changed you? Honestly, really has. Like, we, like, we went there in May, and we're still, like, having more meals together. Well, listen, it does sound absolutely fascinating. Sounds they sound amazing. like a fascinating people, yeah. the Himba people, um, and that is uh, the British tribe next door tonight at 9.15 on Channel 4. Lovely hey, to see you. Love to the family. Lovely. Thank you. Really thank different. You. Thank you very much indeed.